The people at a Northeast Houston apartment complex are begging for help, saying their homes are unlivable. Today, city officials took a tour of those apartments. Janelle Bluda has more on what they're asking for. Online, the website for Sterling Shire Apartments boasts a beautiful, spacious living community. But the residents who actually live there describe a much different reality. But there's a bullet hole right there. For Miss Hattie Utley, a bullet through her front window isn't her only worry. The roach will be coming here. The roach will be coming up in there. Kiana Hall hasn't had air conditioning in three months. She and her son sleep in the living room with the only cool air. Because it's so high, we just try to survive, but it's hard. Robert Russell had to fix his own AC, but his faucet never stops running. And Latrice Bass has to chase the rats away. She says they come in through these holes. We have to clog it up with either plastic or something we find, but they just chew it back in. It took whatever we put in the holes and then run back out. From rodent droppings to mold to holes, almost every tenant you talk to says the apartments are unlivable. I brought the hammer of accountability. This evening, city leaders took a tour of the property themselves. We have to shine a bright light on this. Council member Letitia Plummer says the city could shut the complex down, but the goal is to get the issues fixed. You got to call 311. You have to have a case number. You have to go through the process, but we only have two health inspectors. So until the health inspector comes here and sets a violation, then nothing can happen. Today, a public works employee put a notice of deficiencies on the complex's window, but residents say something needs to change, not just for them, for their kids as well. This is partially jail. It feel like I know you just standing here. It's like depressing and sad. We were able to speak to some of the employees inside of the leasing office. They told us they would send us a statement in response to these claims, but we have not yet heard from them. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Janelle Bluda. And late tonight, the city health department tells us it's aware of the complaints and working with the management to get those repairs made in a timely manner. We'll be staying on top of this.